Today I'm going to share with you three amazing ways to whiten teeth in Photoshop. You see, when it comes to whitening teeth, there are two things that we need to remember. Number one, we don't want it to be whitening it so much that it looks like a cheap toothpaste advertisement, right? Neither so much that it gives a dead giveaway that this is retouched. So we need to find a natural balance where it looks realistic, okay? Number two, we need to understand that there is a difference between whitening and brightening. Well, what is whitening? Whitening is removing the unwanted color from the teeth, in most cases, which is yellow. Brightening is simply increasing the brightness, which we want to avoid. So without any further ado, let's get started. So here we are in Photoshop and it might be occurring to you why we are learning three ways. Well, you learn the three ways, you decide which one works for you the best. There are pros and cons to each one, okay? You be the judge. My job is to teach you all the three ways. So by the way, any photo that you wanna download used in this video, make sure to go ahead and check out the links to download all those photos. So in this, there is a slight yellow tint. And the first way is really, really simple, straightforward. Create an adjustment layer, which one? Vibrance, click on this circle icon and choose Vibrance. Now, what Vibrance does is that it's just like a saturation for the midtones. It increases or decreases the saturation or the color of just the midtones, not the dark areas, not the super bright areas, just the midtones where the yellows lie, okay? So, decrease the Vibrance, very simple. Gone, yellow is gone. Now, along with yellow, all of the colors are gone, but we wanna limit that to just the teeth. So here's what we do. Select the mask, okay? Press Ctrl or Command I. Now what's the concept of mask? Black hides, white shows. Black conceals, white reveals. Wherever there is black, the effect of the layer will not show up. Wherever there is white, it will show up. So take the brush, make sure the foreground color is white, and then zoom in. I just press X to toggle between the background and the foreground. Let's make the brush a little smaller. And you need to be careful with the teeth when you're painting on the teeth. Now this is the big drawback of this method. You really need to be careful, okay? It just doesn't automatically analyze it. So if you accidentally go over to the gum, the gum's color will also get lost. So it, let's increase the flow a little bit to 100 and then let's do it. Okay, so it's making the teeth white. We are not brightening it, we are just whitening it. Okay, so let's have a look at the before and after. So this is the before, this is the after. Let's exaggerate it so that you can see the look. Okay, so this is the before, this is the after. But if even if you accidentally go over a little bit to the gums, let's take the brush, select the mask, if you go over to the gums, the gums color is also gone. Now this is the big drawback. This is easy, but this is the big drawback of this method that you have to be really, really careful when it comes to, and if you paint in a little extra with white, you can always press X to toggle between the foreground and the background and get the foreground color to be black and then paint this again to get the color back, okay? So this also works, but okay. Now this looks totally unrealistic. If you zoom out, let's paint in a little bit here. It was left out. Okay, there we go. Zoom out, this looks kind of unrealistic. Okay, before, after. So select this icon and increase the vibrance and find a middle ground, maybe 58, 50-ish, and that looks cool. Before, after. You can try this in the same, this one. Let's zoom in and simple, what do we do? Add a vibrance adjustment layer, okay? Decrease the vibrance all the way to minus 100. Let's do it first. Invert the mask, Control command I, take the brush, foreground color is white, and then paint over the teeth. Be really, really careful. It's making the teeth totally white. Well, that's a bad thing. We need to select the icon and increase the vibrant just a little bit so that it looks realistic. Okay, there we go. Have a look before, after. We got it, right? So let's have a closer look again. So this is after, this is before, this is after. See, we are losing colors on the gums. You really need to be careful. Now let's come to the second method. Let's delete this. And let's come back to this image and let's delete this. The second method gets you everything right, but it's also not very precise, but gets you things fast. And it's a good method. It's a good method. It's not a bad method. It's a good method. And that's selective color. Click on this selective color. We want to take away the yellows, right? So simple. 
this is the place where we are targeting okay this is the target colors this is the target and this is the adjustments made to that target make sure your absolute is selected not relative because relative is a subtle version of absolute that's all there is you can stay in relative if you want the effect to be subtle if you want the effect to be aggressive absolute okay we're going to choose absolute and you're going to target what yellow right in this image yellow and choose yellow we are targeting the yellows right now and we want to decrease the yellows from the yellows okay we got it now maybe we have to increase this it's more neutral color maybe uh, get the magenta to the right or the left a little bit to the left and increase cyan a little bit now the teeth is looking fine but the gum is not affected why because the gum is red and magenta ish so you can have a vague selection here similarly Control a command I, invert the mask, take the brush, make sure the foreground color is white and you don't have to worry about gums, just vaguely paint over this area. See, the gums are not being affected, unlike the first method. So there we go, before, after. You can also use this method in the second one. And by the way, just click and drag it and drop it over the second one. And uh, of course, this mask is strange here because let's paint it black again and paint it again with white right here. There we go. It's too much here. We might have to play with it. It's too blue. Let's select that. And it's too blue. So let's increase the yellows a little bit. So that looks great. Cyan, and you can play with it. You get the idea, right? So, and yes, have a look. So before, after, okay? Have a closer look. So this is the after, this is the before. After, before right that looks pretty good now the third method this is my favorite method this always work it takes a little time but it always work and but it precisely selects the yellow areas of the teeth and we have done this before in our previous tutorials for different purposes simple it's the hue saturation adjustment layer click on this and select hue saturation now hue saturation also has this reds yellows so on but here's what we do we can manually select that okay so click on this button and click on one of these areas. Okay, it will select reds and doesn't matter what it chooses here. You can also manually adjust it from here. So take the hue all the way to the left and increase the saturation to see which areas is it affecting. Now it's affecting totally the wrong areas. We, we don't want to affect these areas. So what do we do? We make this narrow, very narrow. Okay, make the selection narrow. The bar at the top is the target, the bar at the bottom is the result so this is the color spectrum at the top and we are targeting the reds see what it's doing to the reds it's making it cyan because the hue is all the way to the left see so this is the target that's the result you want to target what the yellows so we shift to the yellows and see here look at here exactly which area is it targeting so we want to target the teeth well it has made a pretty good selection now let's make it a little increase the range a little bit and feather it. So this is just like feathering. The outer slider is just like feathering. And make it a good contact with the gums. There we go. Just like that. And do the feathering on the right. And that works pretty good. Bring the hue to zero. And, and what you can do, increase the lightness. There you go. This increase the brightness and you can decrease the saturation a little bit. And that's done. Okay. And you can also make the yellow a little bit bluish, just like that. And now, Control Command I, and then take the brush. You know what to do, right? Simple. Paint with white. Done. You can do the same for the second image. It's pretty simple. Let's look at how we would do the same with for this one. This one. Okay. Let's select the hue saturation adjustment layer. Click on this. Click on the area, and take the hue to the left saturation to the right to see which area is it affecting make it narrower and move it from the center see now it's perfectly selected let's feather it out a little bit to the right just a little bit now it's working fine now move it back to the center decrease the saturation increase the lightness okay maybe decrease a little bit and that's working pretty fine now control a command i Take the brush, foreground color is white, and just paint over this area. Boom, you don't have to be super perfect. Now we accidentally painted over the skin. We can press X and get it back before, after. 
Wonderful, isn't it? So that's how you widen teeth in Photoshop using the three methods. It's really simple. The number one is the vibrance. In vibrance, you really need to be careful about the selection. It's easy. Just add the vibrance, decrease the vibrance and paint over the teeth. It's easy. Stay away from the gums. In the second method, using selective color, just target the color that you want to remove. If it's yellow, select yellow. If it's magenta, select magenta. Okay, mostly it will be yellow. So select yellow and then decrease the yellows from the yellows and make some adjustments till it looks good to you because it will differ from image to image. The third method is using the hue saturation. Using that bottom slider, select the exact color that you want to remove or lighten, in this case, which is particular shade of yellow, depending upon what shade of yellow the teeth has, select that shade using those sliders and then decrease the saturation just a little bit and increase the lightness okay and always remember let us not overdo it so that it looks like a cheap advertisement from a toothpaste ad so that's pretty much it hope you enjoyed it and if you did make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe ring the bell so that you my friend don't miss a thing i'll see you guys in my next one till then stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating